Hey, welcome back, gainers, to another super Bavarian, Bavarian special episode, episode of Comedy, Comedy Gays. Guten Tag. New to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is the Princess Her Royal Highness Bavarian style bow down. Yeah, a little couple, a little bit of later hosen. So, uh, yeah. We got a special episode for you guys. The, the Comic Games crew just got back from Leavenworth, which if you guys aren't familiar with Leavenworth, it's a special town in Washington that's like all German, all kind of beers and really cool town. Look it up. It's awesome. But we, uh, we go there once a year and there's a special comic store there um, called the Krampus Cave. And it's kind of like this untapped resource. I'm kind of surprised we're telling everybody this because you might be tapping our untapped resource. But... <clears throat> Uh, but we tend to find some cool books there. It's like people don't go there and shop there. And um, we also found some Walmart three packs. So ever since we've been started collecting comics heavily again, <clears throat> we've been looking for these Walmart three packs. They're like nowhere to be found. We we go to all the Walmarts in our vicinity and everywhere we go, they're like, we don't carry that. You know, it's too much theft. Even though we live in a good neighborhood, I don't know why there's too much theft. But you can't find them anywhere. So Ghost. we're out in this town Leavenworth and right next to another town called Wenatchee and they have a Walmart there and we went in and they had them so we bought how many did we buy Zach we bought 10 packs total and each pack has about three to four in them three at least three I seen some of that four but anyways and we've never done this before obviously guys so we don't know if we got a score or we got a loss so yeah let us know down below it's new to us so we're kind of like we're doing this with you guys and you're let us know in the comments if you think it was foolish to buy that many or if you think it was a good idea or, or nothing. Because I know there's some Walmart variants and exclusives and stuff that are pretty cool. And worth money. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Possibly. But uh, before we do something we've never done, let's do something we always do. If you guys... Yeah, I'm going to be opening up a beer. And we're going to be opening up a very relevant beer. We were in love with so we had to hit up some of the breweries. Mm -hmm. They got three... We hit up almost all of them, but this is the best one. This is Icicle Brewing, in our opinion, anyways. And it's an Enchantment Hazy IPA. Ooh. Gonna get all hazy, guys. Whew. Let's get this. Let's pop this open, guys. Let's do this. Oh, oh, it smells good. Oh, oh, yes. Mmm. <clears throat> oh, so refreshing. Oh, well, the citrus it just hits you right at the end. Oh, oh, oh. All right, go, go. Let's right. get this going. So uh, also stay tuned to the end because Zach did get a special package from our very, very dear friend, Jeff Silversmith. We're going to be opening as well. He just couldn't wait to open it. So we got it like just, just a day or so ago. So he wanted to open it right away. FOMO. He couldn't wait. He couldn't FOMO. wait. But um, so let's get into that. Let's get into uh, so these, these Walmart packs. They come like this. And um, we're new to these. Like we've never opened any of these before. And they had 10 different uh, front covers, so we got every single one. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Open, uh, we'll, we'll start with two of them. We'll crack these open, see if there's anything good. I came prepared. Did you? Yeah. I think they even put, like, a vacuum bar. I know a lot of times with these Walmart ones, like, the books kind of, some damaged. of them come kind of damaged because of these shrink wrap, shrimp, shrink wrapped packages, but we'll show you an example. We grabbed that one, right? The one that oh, was the like one that was random. Okay. Looks like it was Ooh. there for years. Uh oh. Got a lenticular. Ooh. Okay. You want me to start? Yeah. I'm going to put this underneath. None of these are in bags and boards, obviously. So we got the first one. Actually, I'll start from the bottom. Is that the. Uh... Okay. So we got the Maestro War and Pax oh, number cool. one. Well, pretty cool cover. Maestro's pretty hot. I don't know. Let us know on any of these guys that some of these are Walmart exclusives and we didn't know because we obviously don't know. We've never opened a Walmart three pack before, but very cool. Warm packs. Hmm. Very cool. I got myself a, whoa. Uh, because the world still needs champions, number one, one of nine. It shows old school Marvel characters. Oh, sounds like a minimal trade dress too. Very nice. Hmm. Very I've never seen that one before. Minimum. One of nine. Oh, 80 like years. It. I like it. 80 years of goodness, guys. I feel like some of these are going to get damaged. But it's well worth it. Ooh, so we got uh, Another Maestro thing. number two. This is also the uh, Chadwick Boseman uh, book. I've never seen that one before either. God cool. rest his soul. Yeah. Cool. 
They're not sure. We were looking up in the, uh, someone was, the people were saying these are all random what you get inside. If they're not random, let us know that too. Cause like I said, we're new to this. So we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. We're trying to look up what was based on the front one, what you get inside, but it always seemed to be random. It's a pretty good deal, guys. Mm -hmm. 30 bucks for $8.95. And $9. Yeah. yeah. So we got mm -hmm. Iron Man 2020 number three. Uh, could be good. Cover is kind of interesting. Orange background. Don't see a lot of orange background. Guys. So. Iron Man. We are Iron Man. Nice. Down. Okay. Who sings that song? Oh, Black Sabbath. There you go. That's good. So we got a lenticular cover. Oh, just like in the back of this already. Oh. Oh, oh dude. dude. I think that's a good one. Oh, wow. So we got Incredible Hulk. And Black Panther. And Black Panther. So we got Incredible Hulk 340 and Black Panther 166 lenticular cover. I don't know. That's really cool. And the back's lenticular as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. Princess, young Princess Slide again. I don't know. Yeah. I think someone's seen a lot of lenticulars or Walmart variants, right? Wasn't Jay Blitz saying that? It's just something like that. Okay. And I think that's actually a rare one. Yeah. Too. We're learning. All We're right. Learning. So, my We're last with one you guys. is something I don't really know a lot about. It's Ultraman, Rise of Ultraman. So, it must be origin story. Uh, how he got from sitting to standing. How he runs. That's how you become Ultra. You just, from sitting to standing. And by the looks of some of the backs of them, it kind of looks like they're variants, you know? Mm. That's kind of like how a lot of the variants look. Mm. All right. So far, so good, guys. Um, we're going to open two more. We, got, we're, we spent $100 on this. So we got, obviously, Zach said we got 10 packs. So bear with us. But so far, I like, you know, I like that one lenticular a lot. And the other thing we're wondering, let us know, too, guys, uh, do you get one Walmart exclusive in every one guaranteed? Or is it I would just hope. random you might get none? I would hope you get at least one. Or else it's like, I don't know. What's the point, right? I know. That's what I would think. Okay. Next one I've got Planet of the Symbionts, number one. This is a King and Black tie-in. You got Noel crushing the planet there. Nice. It's a variant. There's so many tie-ins to King and Black. I was like trying to read the regular run. I think I have to like book two or three and then, I don't know. It was tough. All right. I didn't see any of the books, but you might have seen one. Let's begin. Oh, this is also a lenticular cover. Oh, this is damaged or oh, and oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Oh, it's like old Iron Man and new Iron Man and it's old like two covers mixed together. Dude right? and new dude. So what's like one fifty and something else? Dude, it's hard to tell. Let's show the camera, shall we? Shall we? I like those lenticulars though. These are cool, man. I like it. I like those. Off. That's like that famous Doom versus uh, Iron Man cover, right? Yeah, but yeah. Made. And another one in there. I can't. See another it. one. Another one. Okay, so we got Excalibur. I got another lenticular under there, but Excalibur number ten. Um, Ooh, that's a good one. This is really cool. So you got. I'm not sure who's on the cover there. Is that Psylocke, right? Uh, that's a ca that outfit's Captain Britain, but, but it's yeah, Silox. So we got a little Silox action there with Big Ben in the background. Ooh, Big Ben, very cool. Very nice. Very nice. How much? All right, we got here a nice back cover. Let's see. A oh, we got Daredevil fourteen. That would have been cool for Daredevil twenty. Twenty five. Yeah. Twenty five is a good one. Twenty five. Oh, so this must be a lot older. So the Daredevil 14, no, nothing crazy about that looks like. Cover A, first print. Mm. Ooh. All right. Oh. And looks like we got another lenticular cover. I don't know if this is normal that you get the lenticulars there, but you've got a Moon Knight. Um, I don't know, is it two Moon Knights here? 188 and 25, which I think 25 is the last book in the run, right? Normally. Obviously, these are reprints because they're not the real, possibly real one. But I like that cover a lot. And hopefully, these lenticulars aren't damaged at all. Yeah, the lenticulars can get really high grades. Yeah, because of the hard that. plastic cover. You got FF twenty four, nice Silver Surfer. Kind of looks like a creepy Silver Surfer because usually 
Silver Surfer doesn't have much of an expression. So I like this cover. The sad face. He's got the sad face. So the Tucker Hell face. This is definitely a different episode for us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we've never new. done this. It's new. Very new. New to the show. Okay. Yeah. Not going to happen all the time because... So this is the... Oh, no. This is not... Is this the damaged looking one? I think this is the one we found. That was, no, no. One of them was kind of damaged. One we of had them. to buy it anyway. Oh, I have two. There's probably a whole warehouse of this stuff somewhere that's like never been shipped out. So I'm probably going to find it. You okay, so I got the, so well. the first one. I've got Avengers uh, Black Widow number one, which you got Black Widow fighting Taskmaster on there, which this is cool. It's like a Gameverse exclusive. If you guys have read the new Taskmaster uh, miniseries, it's really good. He's kind of like kind of a copy of Deadpool, but it's kind of cool at the same time. It's like an anti-hero. I'm digging it so far. I'm going to go trouble with this. Yeah, I might need to ask your secret for opening these. I just cut the whole back. Uh, just across the backing board. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, lenticular. I don't do that right now. Do the lenticular? No. I don't know. Maybe you get a lenticular in everyone. I don't know. Whoa, this is a nice Spider-Man Sinister Six. You're like, whoa. There's whoa, that is really good. Cool. Dot Man, Polka Dot Man. Or no, no, Polka Dot not... Man's DC. What's that guy? The, spot? the Marvel and Spot? That sounds right. <laughs> whole oh, Man? Miles for... Whoa, it's hard to... The Whoa. new Sinister Six and the old this Sinister Six? Cool. Dude, there's like so many characters on this. This is dope. Ooh -wee. It's like, I don't see it, guys. Oh, it's a boat. Ah! Hate that. I'm liking this so far. Well, look at it. Make it dance. Make it dance. It's a good thing we have the wait, princess. Wait, Otherwise, wait, you guys wait, would only be able to see one half of the character. lenticular. So we got another lenticular here. Ooh. And looks like there's Psylocke on the front. Ooh, so he's got Astonishing X-Men number seven and number one, the variant cover. Ooh. Looks like you have the two different groups of the X-Men, probably like what, the gold and the blue? Very possibly. Right? I'm Who not knows? sure. But they have all the X-Men on there. That's really good. I haven't seen that one before. Ooh. Mm, make it dance. Very nice. Make it dance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm digging the light and take the covers a lot more every time we pull a new one. I know. It makes me happy. I like you like shiny things, even though they might not be worth anything. And they're making it fun. Uh, we got X-Men number four. <clears throat> Doesn't look like it's too crazy, but it's Apocalypse in the suit. And I'm guessing Mike Needle. And then Professor X is just the king boss. It's probably X of Swords, right? Yeah. Oh, it's probably X of Swords time, maybe. Yeah. Mmm. Thank you, Princess. Oh, this Very is, cool. That's a strange cover. Very strange. Kind All of right. Cool. And then I've got this one's obviously got a corner crunch on, but you got Daredevil number nine, No Devil, Only God, part four, which is kind of like the Daredevil from the uh, from the TV show where he's got like the the bandana over his head, you know, instead of his normal costume. Yeah. The Charlie Cox edition. Yeah, it's a uh, kind of. I don't know. He's like saying, I'm God. So that's a little too much. Guys. I don't know if he's saying you need, you need to pull that back. So we got Eternals number one. It uh, has a lot of characters in the front. It's not too bad. It doesn't have Captain Marvel in there? No. A lot of characters. I never said anything about Captain Marvel. Who's this little green guy? Or gal? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm interested. If you know, say down below. When you're like all green, your hair's green too. Thank you, Adam. All right, on to the next one. Hopefully all you guys are enjoying this as much as we are. Okay. Okay. All right, so we got Return of the Valkyries number one. I know this is a newer one. It just came out. It's a King in Black tie-in. So you got all the, all the Valkyries on there. It's a newer book that just came out. Which I think is, um, is Jane Foster one of the Valkyries now? I have technically... no idea. I would hope so. I would hope they use her. I feel like she is. Yeah. I feel like she's one of the Valkyries. All right. Why wouldn't she be? So, I, I think this is a good book here. Uh, it's a 
Powers of X number six. It's a foreshadowing variant edition. Whoa, foreshadowing variant edition? Yeah, I've never even heard of that. Oh, it has a has a little ding right there, but yeah, it's dope cover. It's really dope. foreshadowing. Foreskin variant? Wait, no. <laughs> it's a kid show, Zach. It's not a kid show. It is a kid show. That's not how I market on the the YouTube analytics. No, oh, they market it that way. You're here. It's a kid show. Ooh. Okay, so we got Doctor Doom number seven, which it's I think so this is like a to me, homage to like an older cover, right? Could be like him with the the bird landing on his hand. I need be. to get a falcon or something, or we just teach Coco to sit on my hand, right? Yeah, it could happen. You could, you could. I mean, you could uh, strap some Velcro to Coco's feet and you know the match. Have him. a Velcro <laughs> arm. <laughs> <laughs> so he, like, attack! I don't, think, I don't think Coco would like that very much. So we got New Mutant Summer 6. There's Chillin being lazy and they get some weird guy that's like you can see their inner what they could eat what they ate for dinner. Inside man. Inside man. Not outside man. Yeah. She's hot. So you clearly you, Anyways. <laughs> you don't get a lenticular in every one. So. Not everyone. I guess not. Could be good. Oh wait. Oh, it's still there. Okay. So I got another lenticular. And we got... This one's really cool, Zach. So you got X-Men... I don't even know. 13 and 10. But you got Longshot with uh, Mojo on there. Mojo. It's like... This is a good cover. Oh, this is cool. Look. Longshot has like a... Uh, what is his ability? It's like a the ability of good, uh, luck. Of good luck, right? Yeah. And he only has four fingers. Or three fingers. Four fingers or three? He only has four fingers or three fingers? Four fingers, I think. Four fingers? Uh, yeah, he's from uh, Mo Mojo World. I Mojo think. World. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he's a great character. Kind of same similar powers to Domino. Yeah. Uh, we and got. It's interesting. Have the same power. We got Black Widow number one. I almost want to say there's something special with this. It's an Adam Hughes cover, I believe. It's dope. Hmm. I like it. Does I it, like it. Does it still say first print on the? I don't know how they organize it on the back, but it doesn't look like it's no, cover it's like, A. It's like fourth print. It doesn't look like a cover, cover B fourth print. I don't know. Or second second print. Cover all right. Four. Last two. If you guys stayed all the way to this part, we got two more to Hopefully open. Hopefully, you should. Because yeah, why wouldn't you? Because the last one's gonna be. Oof. I'm guessing, anyways. Oh. Okay. All right, so I've got Iron Fist, Heart of the Dragon, number one, which I, I wonder, I think this is probably the new Iron Fist series that just came out, which I heard was really good. They got to they gotta do Iron Fist and Justice. Justice. What's that? Justice. Justice. The Fist. Yeah, Glowing right. Fist. So, oh. Wow, not one of the same lenticular cover. That's, so, that's lucky, man. We got like a Falcon number one and a Iron Man 71. Oh, yeah. It's hard oh, to yeah. tell. Yeah, yeah, this is dope. That is I like cool. It. I like it. I like it. I like it. I was going to say, we hadn't gotten any doubles, but we're about to get one double out of all these books. Maybe a second double. <laughs> Been pretty lucky. Yeah, it's not bad. Ooh, make it dance. Make the Falcon dance. All right, so we got uh, Doctor Doom number seven again. Might make the princess show a double. She didn't like doubles, but that Doom cover with the, the eagle. Eagle! For the people, by the people. All right, we got Hawkeye number five. Uh, free fall. Free fall. It's like some crossword kind of BS on there. So like it. Cross what? Crossword. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Hawkeye number five. Hawkeye. Hmm. Alright, and then we did get a double lenticular one, but this is kind of cool though. So we got the the Moon Knight edition. Let's see if I I see I can't make it dance like the princess can. Make it dance! Make it dance! Oh, that's cool though. I actually, out of dance, all of them, I think monkey, I like this one dance. the best. So. We got two. So we got Gwenum versus Carnage. It is a variant, and it's a very late variant. 
It's a variant number seven, which would be what variant F or something like that. Makes sense. G D. No, D would be four. I'm glad you figured that out. G F. Oh, G maybe. G. The G. Ah, ah, ah. Cool. So um. So yeah. So that's our first time opening any Walmart three packs. Uh, let us know what you guys think. How we did. Whether it's smart to even buy those or it's stupid to buy them because they're not around us all the time. So it's our first time. So leave a comment on that one. Uh, so we also did, we got a bunch of stuff from the Krampus Cave. Like we said, it's kind of an untapped resource. Um, all of these books behind us, actually the princess found all those on her own and bought all of those. So she's got, they had like, what is it, all the way to number three of something's killing them damn children to like, she got all the way to like 14, but we just put these ones up there. So she bought them off the rack, guys. Like they were cover price. So really good find for the princess. I think she posts on IG already if you guys didn't see it, but Really, really good find there. But um, they did have these two as well. And I'm not sure if um, these are even smart to open, but these Ooh. are sealed uh, poly bag of uh, Batgirl 50, but not the Batgirl 50 recently. This is the one from 2016. Now there's a chance that you could get a sign book <clears throat> uh, in these. So I'm not sure. We're just going to open them. So you got these for like, what, two bucks each? I think they... Really cheap. Yeah, really cheap. It was half uh, half cover. You guys are probably like, why are you opening a poly bag book on camera? Why not? We're doing it for you guys. Yeah, we're doing it for you. Live vicariously through us. Our, or yeah. Watch it like turns out these are worth a lot more poly bag than not. Okay. What? What's this? Oh, it had like a backing board there. Oh, that's nice. I like it. All right. So there's a chance that you can get like a sign book, I guess. I didn't really do a lot of research on this, but you doing yours? Yeah. I gotta get mine out. Okay. I think mine's upside down. Okay. Do yours oh. first? Yeah. What'd you get? I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. It's a half. The half colored. Half these. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't look signed, guys, but it could be something. Hmm. Those doesn't look sad. I'm not sure if there was anything important with these, but Batgirl oh, 50. Sorry. So you got, I know there's like a, ah! I think the signed one's like a full sketch cover. So there's like a partially sketch cover, but pretty cool. That you got be Batman, good. Superman, mm -hmm. partially sketch. We'll have to look these up. Zach will link the numbers down below. If they're not worth anything, he'll just make a sad face. All right. And the other one is, oh, that's different. Is it different? Yeah. I don't know. So you got the other one here is, it's opposite, right? Yeah, so we got Superman uh, sketched instead of, well, they were kind of sketched for it. It's like half and half. I don't know. I don't know anything about this book. Other than we wanted to open something poly bag on the show. Mm -hmm. But very cool. Uh, some of these older poly bags also give a chance for a head sketch, if I remember. I didn't correctly. even know they did stuff like that. They, they do that every once in a while. It's kind of gimmicky. But like for the person that gets like a head sketch, it's like amazing. So, very cool. So, that's just some of this. One more thing to open with you guys. This is something uh, we got from Jeff Silversmith. A very, very awesome friend of the show. If you ever catch him on any auctions, stay tuned and buy some stuff from him because he always has amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous because I don't remember everything that's in there, but I remember it was a pretty big deal. So, I'll leave that. I'll, I'll, I'll see what you guys say. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, what did we get? What did we get? There's at least, there's one slab in here, guys. And a, a fair amount of pretty cool raw books. I don't so, remember what the raw books were. Like, dude. I don't remember either. I mean, I, I think I remember one, but that's about it. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. I kind of remember a little bit. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Jeff was saying how he enjoys watching us unbox the stuff we buy from him. Uh, we um, enjoy unboxing it. <laughs> we enjoy unboxing as much as you enjoy watching us unbox it. All right. All right. So, we'll start with the first one. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I forgot we got this, too. So, we got House of M, uh, number one. This is the limited series. This is that super hot. Very... Um, relevant book right now so you got 
Scarlet Witch on there. Mm -hmm. Like her, her face cut. That's like going to be a classic cover. I think that's a ratio cover too. Like one in 10 or one in 25. It's great artwork. It's like a sick cover. Great artwork. And speaking of great artwork, I saw this back of it. So I think I know what it is. We got, oh yes. We got American America, America. number eight. Uh, AKA American Chavez variant edition. And this is probably one of the either, best, either the best or, uh, second, or best. second best of hers. It's so really, really dope. Super awesome book. Mm -hmm. And they they're doing they're doing a show for her on Disney Plus, so So pick up that book yeah. and uh pick up uh, <clears throat> her first appearance. A right. Vengeance number two, number one? Vengeance number one, I think. Cool book too. Woo! Okay. So we got the um Scarlet Witch, which this should be uh, Strange Academy, what, number five or six? I think it's later than that. Is it? Number eight? I don't know. Yeah. Could be. Could it be. It says on the back. No, no, no. That, that's the, the artist. Uh, Nakiyama is the artist for this one. Nakiyama. Nakiyama? I think Nakiyama. Nakiyama. Super hot artist right now. Like, I like it. Oh, oh you yeah, got Oldman's number three. I think this is... What was the significance of this? It's just a great cover, I think. No, there's a first <clears> appearance. So, oh, it doesn't matter. Um, I just thought it was like Quicksilver. Was it Quicksilver? super amazing cover? First appearance of Quicksilver? No, not first appearance <laughs> of Quicksilver, but like the Quicksilver in, in the his... Ultimate Universe. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I remember now. It was Agatha Harkness, I think. The like, young, the one? young one. Yeah, I, I think could it was be, that one. but I just thought that cover was ri just ridiculous. It's sexy. I like it. Ridiculously good. All right. I think there's one here for the princess. So we got a um, hip hop cover, which this is one she's been hunting for for a while. So we got the first Kamala Khan, or not first Kamala Khan, but the hip hop cover of Kamala Khan, the education of Kamala Khan. That's going straight into her collection. Yeah, those uh, hip hop number ones are gonna be going hot. They're gonna, yeah, they're gonna be crazy. Hip hop Silk, hip hop Kamala, hip hop uh, Spire Gwen, all of them. Crazy. Get them while you crazy. can. Crazy. Get them while you can, right. guys. So we got something for Zach's personal collection. He's been uh, he's been looking for for quite a while. We'll see. I'm uh, a little nervous. Like I I rarely, very rarely make purchases okay. like this. Uh, it makes me nervous, especially in a modern book. But I especially think this is safe. I think this is a safe bet all day long. I mean, considering <laughs> that the character that you think after this character. Is going for so crazy right now. I think this might be a good buy. It's definitely a good buy. Yeah. yeah. Edge of Spider-Verse number two. First appearance of Spider-Gwen. 9.8. That's the first print, guys. It's got the white, the white bottom on there. That's mm. a fire book. So. That's a very expensive book. I, I saw this in the auction. I'm like, I was surprised no one jumped on this book. Can I see it too? I, I can it see it. I own it. All right, but <laughs> so um. But anyways, oh, a little bit of a longer video. Uh, what are you talking? Yeah, I was. Cause I'm talking. Okay, he wants to look at the book, so we'll let him look at the book. Uh, <laughs> keep on going. You guys ruined it. Whatever. What do you want to say? Say it now, Zach. You can do it. I don't know. Go, go. I'm done. So, a uh, little bit of longer video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. We had a really great weekend up in Leavenworth. Uh, find all these great finds. And then, uh, like I said, opening up awesome box from Jeff Serviceman. As we always get an awesome box from him. But as usual, guys, if you like our show, love our show, hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Especially on this video, guys. We'd love to hear what you guys think about uh, the Walmart stuff that we bought. Because we've never done that before. Let Zach know what you think about his awesome purchase. I, if I was going to leave a comment, I'd just say, smart, Zach. Smartest thing you've ever done. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, anything else, Zach? Anything else you want to add? Well, let's see. Well, Spider Noir. And that's how you get those gays. No, no. You got to be like a detective. And I don't even think he has any powers at all. Just like creepy and like has a deep voice like Nic Nicolas Cage. And, uh, you know. He's been in a lot of movies, a lot of great movies, a lot of bad movies, a lot of bad movies. And that's how you get those games. Right. You become Nicolas Cage, Spider-Man, Neor. There you go. There you go. I think Spider-Man Noir has powers, doesn't he? 
He's got the webs. I don't think, I don't think he does any webs. He's like, yeah, then you got like power of light and they're kisser. And then you're like, yeah, and then you're like, Jackie Gleason's on? Yeah. No. Yeah. Punch right, him right in the throat. Jeez. Right? That's how you do it. Yeah. That's how right. you do Everybody it. stay safe out there. Remember. Get those gangs. Get them. Um, don't forget. Don't forget. See you guys next time. Peace. Peace.